Alright, hey guys, it's Jules here, and welcome back to another video. <sighs> I woke up a half an hour ago, and my brain was like, let's record an Animal Gym video, so I guess that's what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, so before I start this video, I want you guys to look around my den, or at least what you can see right now, and tell me if you see something different from the last video. I'll give you a minute. If you answered this lobster claw plant right next to me, then you would be correct. Yes, one of my viewers graciously traded me their lobster plant for the two den betas I proposed in the last video. So, very appreciated. Thank you so much. I just need one more and then that part of this den will be complete. So, I'm very excited about that. By the way, if you don't know, I'm looking for items to complete my trading party replica den. If you want to see that, I gave a full tour in the last video and my den is normally unlocked. So, yeah, feel free to check it out. All right, now on to the main reason I started recording this video. I want to do an adventure and not just the Forgotten Desert because I've done that over and over again on this channel and it's starting to get a little repetitive and I myself am getting bored with it so I can imagine you guys are too. Anyway, I am gonna try to do the Return of the Phantoms in hard mode and I say try because I don't know if it's actually going to work. The last time I tried to record a Return of the Phantoms video, somebody was hacking in the adventure and could completely just ruining it. So I was kind of skeptical. I've left it alone for about like a week and a half, two weeks even. I posted a TikTok about it, so whatever it was, you know, you can look on my page for that. I don't remember totally, but I don't want to risk my account getting banned because somebody is, or I'm wrapped up in somebody else's mischief, you know? So let's see if I can do this. It was in Join Adventure, so I'm going to host an adventure and hope nobody comes into my den just now. Okay. Phew. Okay, everything looks good so far. Alright, cool. Hello, Liza. Okay, I've played this adventure dozens of times. No offense, I really don't need to listen to you. Alright, so I didn't know this secret passage was here for an embarrassingly long time. And I mean, I didn't recently just figure it out. I mean, like, I'm talking about like three years after... The adventure came out so like 2016 i realized it was there that and the secret passage that's over here when you clear up the, the river i didn't know that was there either i was not very observant when i was younger i guess you can say that okay what should i talk about hmm let's talk about how i was afraid of literally everything when i was younger so in the last video i mentioned that i was afraid of slender man and after rewatching that, I remembered that I was literally afraid of everything that was portrayed as bad in like all of the media I was exposed to. So like Ursula from The Little Mermaid, Slender Man, like I mentioned earlier. What's another example? Uh, the Phantoms in Animal Jam. I was actually scared of them. When The Phantom King came out in The Hive, I think, I was terrified. I did that adventure once never did it again for like four years and then i was like you know what i gotta get over this it's a fictional villain i gotta stop but the thing that i was scared of the most like video game villain i mean was probably and i don't know if you guys ever played this but the cogs from toontown i was so scared of them oh my goodness i couldn't even get past 16 laugh because i at least got one laugh boost from somewhere. I just ran around Toontown talking to people and doing nothing and like sitting in bean fests and stuff. I know this is not Animal Jam content, but if anybody plays Toontown, yeah, you'll know what I'm talking about. Granted, I was a little kid when TTO was a thing. It shut down in 2013, so that would have made me at least- oh god, it's not down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I'm getting ambushed! Oh well. Anyway, TTO shut down in 2013, so that would have made me nine. And I joined it in 2011, just like I did with Animal Jam and Roblox, because my brother and I were on a hunt for 
MMOs that we could play together. So that's why I joined all three games on the same day, because I was hunting for games, just like this phantom is hunting me down. Go away! No, I thought he'd get caught there! Okay. Just gotta keep running. Oh my god, he's still chasing me. You are clingy! What was that? Yeah, go away. Oh my god. I never remember them being this annoying. You're still there? Oh my god. TTO did shut down, but there are a couple of new servers out there, like TTR, or Toontown Rewritten, Toontown Corporate Clash. I'm on both of those. If you search back in my YouTube channel, you can see that I've recorded a video of me at a bean fest around Christmas time a year or two ago on TTR. So if you see me or my tune online, please friend me. I have no idea what's going on. Although I don't know that I'm going to be playing it a ton because I accidentally accepted a tune task that requires me to do a bunch of mints and I hate cogments so much. I still kind of hate cogs, but I'm not scared of them like I'm used to, but I just hate doing the bigger battles. Like building is as far as I will go in the terms of like Toontown boss battles. Like, I don't know, even buildings make me uncomfortable. So in the many years that I have played Toontown in general, because I played all three platforms, I have never done the VP, the CJ, the CEO. What else am I missing? I've never done a field office before. None of those, just buildings, because I have just been so not good at Toontown. Like I, you guys think I suck at Animal Jam? Oh my God, I suck at Toontown even more. It's terrible. I'm over here like, what's this gag? What does it do? Okay, maybe not that badly but it's just i know about as much as your normal tune like i'm not a gag strategist by any means like i know don't use sound on lure cogs because that'll upset them and then they'll hurt you for non tune down players like i know that and that's it i don't understand like the moving to the left thing i doubt anybody is gonna know what i'm talking about so i'm just gonna shut my mouth <laughs> all right what can i talk to that is like in reach of my audience because I don't think a lot of you actually play TTR and that is fine nobody's forcing you to but I want to record that but I'm not quite sure how I'll make the thumbnails because I use a lot of green screening and I've searched around Toontown and I've not been able to find a place that I can like green screen my tune to make thumbnails nor do I even know what's going on to like actually make the video like, I wouldn't even know what to say, like, and how to commentate a video like that. I don't know. I already have a hard enough time with Animal Jam. I just kind of ramble and you guys listen, but you guys seem to like that, so I mean, I guess that's what I'll do. All right. Also, I don't want people to be, like, toxic in the videos because I also don't want to give them the free publicity or I don't want to, like, expose them accidentally because I've already had to scrap a couple of Animal Jam videos because of that because I don't want that much negativity. I don't want any negativity, what am I saying, on my channel at all, so, yeah. And I fear that the community of Toontown has just gotten a lot. The people there aren't very nice if you don't know how to play the game, and it is incredibly hard to learn how to play the game when you have tons of tunes getting angry at you all the time. Anyway, I'm being negative, I'm gonna stop, but, yeah. I want to try to record a couple Toontown videos, just one or two, just to see how far they would go because not a lot of people are recording it anymore, I don't think. At least I'm not seeing it. I don't know. All right. Oh, I leveled up. How handy is that? Cool. Oh, speaking of leveling up, that reminds me of something else I can talk about. This is kind of geared towards you old jammers, but you new jammers are allowed to listen to because it'll give you some history on the game. So. Do you guys remember when Adventures first came out, you had to be, like, I think level 1 to play Return of the Phantoms, level 2 to play the Phantom Portal, level 3 to play Me Cosmo, and level 4 to play the Hive? I think they stopped it after, um, what's the next adventure? The Great Escape? No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I don't remember what the next adventure is after that, but do you guys remember when you had to be certain levels to play certain adventures? Because I do, it was really annoying. <laughs> But I'm glad they got rid of that. It wasn't the end of the world, but it was tedious. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out. Also, that was before hard mode was a thing, so yeah. I remember when Adventures first came out. I was like, oh, this is so cool! I never knew it would start like a nine-year addiction! Yeah, I love playing Adventures, but 
I never recorded them, like, with my voice because I never knew what to say. I feel like after recording for a little bit, like, I've made videos for years. I feel like after I started adding my voice in them and, like, speaking to my laptop, I've been a, a better- a, I, okay, I'm being a hypocrite. I was going to say, oh my gosh, this is a lobster claw. That's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. I was gonna say I've become a bit of a better talker, but, um, well, I just disproved my own point, so never mind. Completely just disregard what I was talking about. <laughs> Alright, now what should I talk about? Oh, I don't like it when people... Like, join adventures just to troll. Like, sometimes it's funny. If you get me on a good day, I'll probably be like, Oh, haha, you're so funny. But, what is really annoying is when they grab, like, I don't know, the phantom key and then they leave the adventure, rendering the adventure unplayable. I, it's happened a couple times to me. That's why I brought it up. Anyway, let's see what prize I get from the Arctic Wolf Passage. Please be something good. Oh, okay, I, I'll take a rim. That's better than like half the prizes you can get in there anyway. My favorite thing to say whenever I get a prize that is not so great is at least it wasn't a necklace. Unless of course it is a necklace. Then I'm just like, oh crap, what do I do? <laughs> this is terrible, you know, but it's okay. It's not awful. I can use that to trade for clothing beta. Oh, that's another thing I can talk about. How the heck do people determine values? I don't understand it at all. Back when I was, like, when I cared about rares, now I just care about the items themselves, like, and what looks I can make with them, but back when I cared about being rare, I remember that you could trade, like, three rims for a clothing beta, like a fox hat or a rare bow, oh, I missed the treasure chest, or something like that, but nowadays you have to trade, like, 20 to 30 rims sometimes. I've seen people say, like, oh, 7 to 10 rims for a clothing beta, but nowadays people want you to trade an arm and a leg for them. It's like, bro, just go play an adventure a couple times. That's it. I don't know. I do have a lot of rims that I could get rid of to turn into clothing betas, but, like, they're all on different storage accounts. They're all messed up and weird and all that. Why is everything so expensive now? I'm gonna talk about my founder's hat again. That used to be worth, like, a pink long... a regular top hat and, I don't know, a non-member sword. Maybe that's a little over. I guess this stuff was harder to get, that's why it was worth less, in air quotes. Why can't I find any keys? I'm not going to get that one first, because I hate that one. But yeah, I traded three black long collars for my founder's hat, and I'm not complaining, that is what it's worth now, but I just miss when it was worth, like, something in reach. Bro, oh my god, no matter where I go, the phantoms are like, I see you, and it's like, no you don't. I probably should stop complaining about item worth, considering I don't know a lot of it. Oh, I, um, made a TikTok about this, so you should totally go check it out. I'm sorry, I've self-promoted that, like, four times already. You can just unsubscribe right now. <laughs> but I searched a ton of my storage accounts because I was like, okay, Worth has changed a lot. What kind of items do I have now? And, oh my god, I probably doubled my worth in just unobtainable- Try to say this three times fast. Unobtainable land rims. I'm gonna grab this treasure, treasure chest, by the way, if you were wondering where I was going. I don't know what to do with all of them because I have tried to trade them in Jama Township and even in Brady's lab, and I have no takers, which I don't know the demand of these items. Um, these items are like the rim monkey hat, the rim sun visor, whatever, it's rare spooky top hat, rare lasso, rare pumpkin throne, items like that. I went too far. But nobody wants them because people don't know that they're rare, and that means that like when people trade for them it's like oh people aren't gonna know that i'm rare if i have this they're just gonna assume it's a rim so i'm not going to trade you for it <sighs> watch the key won't be up here the key's not up here bro just kill me hurry up okay thank you my last heart didn't even show that was weird anyway seems that no matter where i go with this adventure the key is always in the other the opposite place it's annoying it's fine. Ah, please don't touch me. I am a germaphobe and I can't tell when the last time you washed your hands was. And you have like eight of them, so it's even more terrifying. 
All right, I'm just gonna steal this. And then I'm gonna make my way out behind your little friend. I swear I'm not stalking him. All right, what key am I missing? Okay, wait, I know which one I'm missing. Never mind, that was a dumb question. It's been a while since I played this adventure. I am running out of things to talk about. As usual, woohoo! But it's fine, we're almost done with the adventure. I probably should look up what prizes are where, because no offense, I have a lot of gems. I don't really want them. This adventure only gives out, like, I think, in increments of 500. So it's like 500, 1,000, and 1,500, and then like the rest of them. Nope, I put you in there for a reason. Please stay in here, thank you. You're in timeout for a little bit. Maybe not timeout. Solitary confinement for a little bit. Maybe you just need to work on yourself, Phantom. It's all good. But yeah, I want to make sure that I can have at least a chance of getting something good. Because, no offense, I don't, I don't want gems. Because, as you can see, I have a million and a half. So, yeah, I'm going to let some other jammer have those gems. Just kidding. There's an infinite amount of gems in this game. But it's okay. It's all good. No, don't see me. No, please go away. Please don't be clingy. Alrighty, this is the last key. I feel like I do remember one of the chests being like the top right, always being like the randomized item. Great job, you defeated all the phantoms and saved all the bunnies. Woohoo, I'm a hero. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes. Hopefully it's something good. Okay, three. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna click on it and then start counting down. All right, three. Two, one, opening now. Okay, that's a rim. That's not bad. I can use that with my star cape to try and get a clothing beta. Alright, I think that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me completely fail at Return of the Phantoms. I had a pretty good time, so I hope you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!